This game is so hard! I don't know what to do! Zebra's amazing walkthroughs! What's up guys, Mr. Zebra Gamer here with part 10 of Let's Play Jack and Daxter. In this part we shall be going to uh, the Fire Canyon right here, right be behind the farmer's house. And be talking to Kira. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! All right, so the fire canyon can be difficult and at the same time, not that hard. It's very short. It should only take a minute or two if I don't mess anything up. But if I do, that means that I have to go back, which could possibly mean dying, which obviously means this might take one or two attempts. But if I pace myself, it should be fine. Um, all you have to do is really be accurate, focus on hitting these balloons, you know, dodging the ditches, so you don't overheat and so bad things don't happen. It's still pretty easy to mess up, too. Because, like I said in the last part, I missed the island. This thing does not have tight steering. And I have a little battery that's fantastic. And I'm about to explode. Aw, oh, man, so close. The noise, that, like, little buzzer that goes off. That burp, 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 burp. That, um, that one you're about to explode. That thing used to scare the crap out of me, that noise. I don't know why, but it used to when I was a kid. It, like I just knew what means I'm gonna die. Oh, that's pretty good. You also wanna watch out for the lurkers because they'll make you like fly in the air like this. Which isn't like, like it's not like it's a bad thing, but it can lead to bad things. Like it might make you fly over a balloon or you might just go off track and you know, die. Land in a ditch. But if you know how to control it well, it's not that bad. You want to focus on going over the spots that are covered more than these spots with the open lava, if you can. And I just missed a scout one. There we go. Too bad I'm about to blow up again. It's right there at the end. It's right there. Oh, there you go. Seven scout flies. Weird how they try to dance on the zoomer. It doesn't work out too well. And there we go. Not that hard, but if you aren't perfect, it can scream over. We made it! Look how we had to go through all the trouble of getting 20 power cells just for a three minute ride. <sighs> so now we are at Rock Village. This is like the second area place thing. I like this place. I don't know why, but I find it funny that. Hey! We're still waiting. Turn on the teleport gate. Shut up, Kira. I, th I don't know. I find it funny that there's barrels holding me go instead of, you know, just like regular chests. I just... Kind of weird. And here we have a scout fly. First of seven. Whoa! I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party! Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party! No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them! Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it! I guess you two are going to have to find some more! We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. Alright, so we just released um, to him. these two. 
bozos out of the portal so now we can easily transition from rock village and um, whatever it's called our home it won't be that hard anymore because now we can just go on through the portal and we'll be able to do that through every place we reach but this area really steps up in difficulty compared to the first area we were just at even the main hub here until we find out why the blue sage disappeared you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine go get him there are some hard um orbs to obtain this is probably the hardest one right here what we need to do is go through here and make it all the way right here which that tree got in my way so i'm probably gonna have to cut out and go and do stuff. Here we have, and we're gonna have a few people to meet. I think that I can actually get this one first. If they go to that one, I don't know, it'll be worth a shot, I guess. Maybe if I didn't put my face on the rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut out and try it a few times. There we go. You get a lot of ores out of it too. And over here we have another oracle. We still need a few more gems to do that. We st yeah, we still need a handful more. So I'll focus on doing that later. Over here we have somebody to talk to. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Alright, so in the next part of Let's Play Jack and Naxter, part 11, we shall be trading her 90 orbs for a power cell and also helping her out with saving these animals that are in the, uh, what's it called? The precursor basin, I think it is? We will be doing that and a few other things like gathering um, orbs and all that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. See ya.